So let's look at another example here. Here we're told that a horizontal force of 30 newtons is applied to a box on a 30 degree ramp. And we want to find the components of the force parallel to the ramp and perpendicular to the ramp. Now, certainly a problem like this, you want to draw a picture. You definitely want to draw a picture. So let me draw a 30 degree ramp. There's the ground. There's my 30 degree ramp. Now I've got a box on this ramp. And apparently I'm pulling on this box horizontally with a force of 30 newtons. So there's my horizontal force. And I know that that's 30 newtons. Now what I want to do is find the components of the force parallel to the ramp and perpendicular to the ramp. So I want, to, I want to break this vector up into two pieces, one of which is parallel to the ramp, one of which is going straight up the ramp, and one of which is perpendicular to the ramp, one of which goes straight into the ramp. So if you see, I'm finding two vectors that are parallel and perpendicular to the ramp that add up to the force there. And then I want to figure out what, uh, what those vectors are. So I'm going to translate this angle 30 degrees. And this is probably a little easier if I, um, if I get rid of some of the elements of the picture. So let me just write this as a right triangle like that with a 30 degree angle there. And then this. That's the hypotenuse of the triangle, is 30 newtons there. And I'm trying to find the lengths of the other sides. So this is a right triangle. It's OK to use Sokotoa. I don't have to use law of sines or law of cosines, because I have a right triangle. So Sokotoa uh, that says that sine of theta is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. Now, the opposite angle to the angle theta here, or the opposite side, is that. And that's the adjacent angle to angle, if we call that angle theta. And of course, this is the hypotenuse. And so sine of 30 is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse is 30. And so the opposite is equal to 30 sine of 30. Now, that's one of my common values. I remember the sine of 30. I don't have to go to the calculator for this one. The sine of 30, that's pi over 6. So that's equal to the sine of pi over 6 is 1 half. So 30 times 1 half is 15. And to find the adjacent side, I'm going to use the cosine part of Sokotoa. So cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So cosine of 30 is equal to, I don't know the adjacent yet, but I know that the hypotenuse is 30. And if I solve that for the adjacent side, I get 30 cosine 30. And again, 30 is one of my common values. It's pi over 6. I know that the cosine of 30 is root 3 over 2. And so I get 15 root 3. And so if I fill those in, this is 15 root 3. And this is 15. So the answer to the original question is that the uh, parallel force force parallel to the ramp is 15 root 3 newtons. And the force perpendicular to the ramp is exactly 15 newtons.
So let's recap what made that problem work. Again, we started with a word problem. First thing you want to do is draw a picture. So I drew my picture of my box on a 30 degree ramp. I drew in my horizontal force as a vector, vector 30 units long because it's a force of 30 newtons. And then I was asked to find the components both parallel and perpendicular to the ramp. So what I really had to do is break this arrow up into two arrows, one of which was parallel to the ramp and one of which was perpendicular to the ramp. So I broke it up into those two arrows, those two vectors, and then I kind of abstracted this into another triangle, um, and then I could use SOHCAHTOA to find the lengths of those two sides of the triangles. So that's what I did here. I found the lengths of those two sides of the triangles. I plugged them back into my original picture, and then I interpreted them in the context of the original problem.